with Teeth Meteorologist Derek Beasley. I want to give a quick shout out tonight to Robertsdale High School. Spent some time down there with uh, Coach Barry Roberts' uh, marine science class. Talking a little bit about weather this morning. Had a really good time. Want to thank them very much for inviting me and uh, had a really good time. Had some really good questions and uh, really good uh, interaction with the students there. So enjoyed the time there. Oh, yeah. Too bad you couldn't bring the, the key wall, the green screen. That's what everyone <laughs> wants to know about, you know, with weather people, how, how you're able to point to maps and you're not really staying in front of a map. And if I could find a way, yeah, to carry one of those things around, that'd be great because that is always fun. You looked really comfortable at the front of the class there, Professor. <laughs> Well, I, actually, I was a grad assistant. When I was in grad school, yeah, I taught school. You look school, very so comfortable up there. Maybe I'm seeing what's in my future after TV. Who, who don't leave. <laughs> don't leave. Don't leave. I'll try not to. I'll, I'll be around as long as you want me. Here's a look at your live pinpoint Doppler tonight. We are dry, but we're going to be tracking some rain here by Saturday. Tomorrow looks dry. We've got some clouds that are going to be rolling into the area tomorrow. and It'll be getting a little bit warmer. You notice that cold front we were talking about it yesterday. It came through last night, and boy, it was a little chilly, especially this morning with those winds. And right now, Sitting about 48 degrees here in Mobile. It's going to be a chilly night tonight. Uh, we're going to get cold down here, freezing in some spots, but we are watching some high clouds moving in from the west, and this may actually keep our temperatures from getting as cold as they could have gotten overnight tonight or could get. So we'll be watching these high clouds push again from the west here. Turned out to be a pretty nice sunset as well. Whenever you get these little cirrus clouds, about 20 to 30,000 feet in altitude, uh, a lot of times they can create a beautiful sunset. And uh, that's what we're going to be seeing more of for the day tomorrow. And we were talking about this storm yesterday just off the California coast. It was basically sitting out there for the first part of the week. It is now starting to move through Arizona and New Mexico. And that's what's going to bring us the rain chances by the time we head into Saturday. So you can see it right there on Storm Predictor. Moves across Texas and Oklahoma tomorrow. Most of the energy with it, though, lifts off towards the north, but there will be just enough to bring us some rain chances here uh, by the time we hit the Saturday. So Saturday still looks like a wet day. Sunday looks better with sunshine returning. Pinpoint Predictor will play things out and show you exactly how things will uh, pan out here over the next 48 hours or so. Tomorrow, lighter winds, a few more clouds, but we'll be in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Overall, not too bad here for your Friday. Clouds get thicker, and our computer model here trying to bring the rain into areas north and west of I-65 as early as midnight, uh, Friday night, Saturday morning. Uh, so it looks like the rain chances will start increasing from west to east late Friday night through the day Saturday. The front probably will not come through the area until sometime Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. And until it clears the area, we're going to keep a chance for rain in the forecast. Notice here by Saturday evening moves on out. We should see sunshine return to the area by Sunday with uh, a very nice start to next week. Looks like we're going to see a good deal of sunshine here, especially for Tuesday through Wednesday and warmer temperatures. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. 62 tomorrow. Uh, after a morning right around freezing. So bring in the uh, pets and cover up the uh, plants tonight as uh, we're looking at some freezing temperatures, particularly north of Interstate 10. 62 tomorrow afternoon, 72 on Saturday, a little rain around, and then rain chances early Sunday. But next week right now looking fantastic. Mid-60s, sunshine, lows generally in the 30s. But tonight, a tender vegetation alert. Yes, and we're hoping those high clouds kind of move in and keep mm -hmm. temperatures from getting too cold, but uh, just... You know, just to be on the safe side, go ahead and cover cover that stuff. All right, Derek. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Michael.